Back to the phones and open line Friday, Jake in Highland, Michigan. I'm glad you called, sir. Welcome to our program here. Hi, Mr. Limbaugh. Thanks for taking my call. It's an honor to talk to you. Uh, I try and listen to you every day. Um, my question is about Donald Trump. I uh, received an article from Catholic Vote, and uh, it's basically talking about uh, why we can't vote for Donald Trump. Um, I'm not old enough to vote yet, but I, I just like to act like I'm going to vote in the primaries. How old are you? But I'm 17. 17. 17. Yes, sir. Okay. But um, this article was talking about um, basically all these things wrong with Trump, basically. And uh, one of them was, like, how he uh, cheated on his wife, or two of his wives, actually, and how uh, um, he had, like, uh, he, he was with different women, like, every night. He talked about that in his book and basically how he's, like, bragging about it. And uh, obviously that's a huge character flaw, so... Um, I haven't really heard you talk about that much, and I was just wondering what you thought about that. Well, if you talk about that with one, um, it's it doesn't apply to just one. Not everybody has those kinds of behaviors in their past, but I would I would remind you, Jake, you know, in the in the in the right places, stuff like that's a resume enhancement. And I'm not I'm not trying to be snarky. The Democrat Party things like that's a resume enhancement. I don't care what Trump's done; he's a piker. To Bill Clinton. Now, I don't say that to justify Trump. Don't misunderstand. There's a double standard here. Uh, you, you, people that tried to you know, say things about it with Bill Clinton, but his supporters came up, no, 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 this proves the guy. It's just sex. It didn't stand in the way of doing his job. His wife didn't care. By evidence, she didn't care. She had to know about it. So everything's fine. Leave him alone. You just, you bunch of Republicans, just a bunch of prudes. You're a bunch of dry balls. You just don't want anybody having any fun. Well, keep going because it isn't going to matter because the American people wish they were like Bill Clinton. And there may have been, depending on the kind of people you're talking about, some some truth to that. But there will be some people. The point is... Uh, Jake, there, there, there probably are already some people who have doubts about Donald Trump for that reason, those reasons, as they relate to character, just and as as well as his uh, braggadocio behavior uh, and so forth. He doesn't have universal support out there. Mindy Stretch. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I definitely understand what you're saying there. Um, that's one You're thing. wondering why it's not a disqualifier. How can somebody like that have as much support as he does? Or what? What is your question about it? Well, I, I basically just uh, I wanted to know what you had to say about it. And uh, at first, I was kind of surprised that I'd never heard like the liberal media uh, bring it up at all. But uh, then I was kind of thinking about it, and I realized, and they'd kind of be like uh, downsizing Clinton too if they criticized Trump for doing what he did back then, and so. Yeah, I just wasn't really uh, like I'm. I've never been a Trump supporter, but like I've never hated him either. I was right. kind of like in between. Um, so I, I just don't know if that's the type of person who I'd want in office. I guess. Well, there are a lot of people happy to hear you say it, because one of the things that has been happening in our country, even before you were born, you're 17. Uh, is what a lot of people refer to as the the decay or the rot in the culture uh, and how uh, what used to be taboo in terms of words you can say on TV, for example, or behaviors on TV that you can televise, now are standard, no big deal, uh, and worse. So that there are people look that there is a, a, a slow erosion of the kinds of morality and cultural standards that uh, there used to be in the country. And a lot of people think that the erosion and the rot and the decay has bled over and explains a lot of what's wrong in politics. So you're not alone in your, in your point of view. It's just a, a people of voting age today, it's... Uh, in, in many people's minds, it's something that's been determined here to not be a disqualifier. Not long ago, it would have been. Not long ago, something like this would have been a disqualifier. Negative ads run about it would have would have finished somebody off, uh, and and it 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 would have been rendered a campaign dead on arrival. Now, 
it's not so much. So, and if this interests you, uh, the name, the Federalist Papers, I wear the number of, escapes me, but the character of the executive, meaning the president, was written about extensively by James Madison in uh, in the Federalist Papers. And he wrote extensively why it's the number one or should be and was back then the number one factor. And you might, as you grow older, try to find it. And uh, I'll, get, I'll dig the number up and I'll put it up at RushLimbaugh.com. Well, just a matter of reaching the deep, dark depths of my memory. But I appreciate the call, Jake. Thanks very much. We'll be back here in just a second. Do not go away. Do not go away.